Good evening, Boom Beach. You're watching Snuggles Plays and I'm your host, the one, the only. Yes, it's your favourite Boom Beach girl. It's me, Snuggles. Hello, everybody out there. Hello to all my boomers. I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are in the world, guys. Today, I bring you War Factory for tomorrow, Thursday, the whatever it is of July, Thursday, the, uh, what does that say, 11th of July. Tomorrow, Thursday, the 11th of July, War Factory. Uh, I've just finished it. As you can see, we've got our ZCM retraining there, and so that should be a giveaway as to what troops I use this War Factory. Now, before you go, oh, Snuggles, not another War Factory with our ZCM. I've said before and I'll say it again, I do find RZCM one of the simplest troop combos and easiest to tackle War Factory with. And when you see the War Factory layout that they've given us this week, uh, you, you might um, know why I've picked that. Or maybe not, but I'll explain anyway. So we did it in four attacks. So I'll just pause it here oops all right no pause okay that was a bit weird okay so this is the layout guys so this wall fa factory layout is um pretty much the same layout that you get when you come to unlock War Factory on your map for the very first time. The same War Factory that you need to destroy in order to also unlock Everspark. And I have done a video on that. If you haven't seen that video or if you are at that point in your game on your account and you are you have War Factory on your map for the first time and you're struggling to wonder how to take it down. It should look pretty much identical to this War Factory layout here and I've done a video on how to defeat it and how to therefore unlock Captain Everspark. So this is that War Factory layout guys. Now as I said when I did that video and I think I've, I think on on other War Factory layout videos that I've done with this layout, um, I've pretty much said that perhaps the easiest way to do it is with all Smoky Zooka, um, because of just where everything is. Um, but I've already done Smoky Zooka with this layout, and I already had RZCM loaded, and quite frankly, I couldn't be bothered to do Smoky Zooka again. And I just thought, you know what? Let's do an RZCM kind of clear with some hacking and whatnot. So um, let's just watch the video, guys. Um, so I start off by attempting to bring Sparky in and hack these two rocket launchers up here. I say attempted to because as you see right there, something went wrong. I don't know what went wrong. I was late on my smoke or something and she died before she even got to the rocket launcher. So that didn't work. So I just barted and arted uh, out that rocket and almost all of the next rocket. Don't forget guys, we have um, artillery GBE cost reduction tribe at the moment of like 50% or something so do make sure that you have that tribe fully boosted up to 5 out of 5 if you've got tribes unlocked yet so that was our first failed attempt to be honest the, my whole attempt this week of taking out War Factory was a bit sloppy, was a bit of a disaster because everything I kind of tried to do in one way or another kind of failed. Um, as you'll see, I failed to even get Sparky there to hack those rockets. I On my second attack, I finished off the last remaining rocket launcher with GBE and then I, I brought Sparky in to deal with the two rockets and the shock launcher over here at the back of the core and um, I think something went wrong with that one as well let me just speed it up for you so yeah bringing Sparky in I must have just not pressed the hack button or something because she hacked the cannon instead of the 
rocket. So then I managed to get her to hack the rocket, but then she followed the flare and stepped out of the smoke and died again. So, you know, it was all a bit of a disaster. So I, I threw more GB onto that rocket. So not having a very good hair day with Wolf Factory this week um, in terms of, you know, preciseness and accuracy and whatnot. But it doesn't matter. We still got it down and that's the main thing. So I don't really care. But this was a bit sloppy. So for my third attack, um, I decided to just come in with RZCM and just do a clear. I threw Barrage and Art artilleries onto the uh, rocket and the shock launcher to get rid of those because I thought you know what I'm not having any luck today with Sparky and the hacking so let's just use GBE. So I did that, finished off the remaining rocket and the shock launcher and then I throw in my troops here. Let's just speed this up a bit. I think I was deciding how to land them. Um, as you can see, those bloody grapplers grabbed Sparky, which, you know, I was too slow on throwing a smoke. Well, I never actually did end up throwing a smoke, but, yeah, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't be in range or something. I don't know. Anyway, I just threw out RZCM, cleared a bit of the front defences, and then flared them up to the top there. And because my aim is to make my way over to these two amped up doom cannons and the shock blaster and to clear them. <coughs> and, you know, this another sort of sloppy, sloppy attack really did manage to get rid of the shock blaster and the damage amp, but couldn't get rid of those two doom cannons. But it didn't matter because... I've made, I'd now made a nice little hidey hole, a nice little snuggle spot, as I like to call it, for my troops to be protected in. So on this last attack, nice easy finish. I did remember to smoke my medics and Sparky so that they wouldn't be grabbed by the grappler. That smoke at the top was supposed to be a flare. I threw a, uh, a smoke instead of a flare. I didn't mean to throw so many smokes. My aim was just to get them up the top here, right behind the core in the top left corner, and to get rid of those doom cannons. I threw a shock on these two grapplers here because they kept grabbing my medics, which I really was not appreciative of. So I cleared away those uh, two doom cannons with no problem whatsoever and then I just flared them back to this nice safe spot here, this nice safe little snuggle spot where as you can see I am free of the range of these doom cannons and this rocket launcher here and the shock launchers here. Uh, I think that Doom Cannon does maybe pick off one or two of my rifles on the very edge of its range. But for the most part, I believe it is just aiming at these critters that Sparky is throwing out. So there we go, guys. And my troops are quite protected and safe there. Sitting there in their nice little snuggle spot. Ready to pound away on that shield, on that core, and get it taken down. And that's how we did it this week, guys. So there you go. That's War Factory. My absolute least favourite War Factory layout. That is War Factory this week, guys, for Thursday, the 11th of July. Horrible layout. And I decided to do it with RZCM. So as I'm sure you've seen in my previous videos, I know I've done a video of that War Factory layout before in the past. And I have used Smoky Zookas and been successful. I did get it down. Again, it was sloppy because I'm not the best at all with all Smoky Zookas. I never claim to be. Um, so... If you look back through my War Factory videos, guys, I have made a War Factory playlist. You should find uh, the video where I use all Smoky Zookas on this type of War Factory layout. You should also find the video where I show you how to take down War Factory for the very first time on your map and unlock Everspark, which is also this same War Factory layout. 
and I do that with smoky allsickers as well but for this time I wanted to see if I could do it with RZCM I, I was pretty confident that I could and I just thought it would be easier despite the sloppiness and not and not having much luck with the packing with Sparky and whatnot but still none of that matters guys because like I say you know I say it a win is a win a victory is a victory doesn't matter how many troops we lose doesn't matter how many attacks or attempts it takes us a win is a win and so the most important thing is that we got it down so there we go guys that is War Factory for this week. Do let me know down below in the comments uh, how you did War Factory this week, how you approached that horrible layout, what troops did you use, were you successful, was this your first ever time of being successful at defeating War Factory? Let me know guys, let me know all that stuff down below. Uh, warships, I'm not going to talk about warships because quite frankly right now at the moment it's jacking me off something chronic. Uh, I'm being defeated just, you know, it's like a yo-yo and I'm being defeated feels like more often than I'm winning just by a matter of seconds. It's so frustrating. It's just doing my head in. So I'm not talking about that. I have managed to make it back to Diamond League for about a third time. And I'm now going to wait until all of my chests are ready before I continue. And I'm sure I'll fall back out of Diamond League again for about the fifth time. But it's just really, really annoying at the moment, guys. But I'm trying to tell myself, don't worry, it doesn't matter. You've still got like three months of this season or, you know, just just about like two two and a half months to go so you know no rush take it easy take it slow lots of time left of the season and eventually we will get higher up in the ranks guys anyway that's it my voice is really dry i need to have a cup of tea so i'm going to wrap this video up now let me know how you got on with war factory this week let me know where you're at with warships and if you're as frustrated as i am and uh, if you're new to the channel welcome Hello, welcome, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button and please think about subscribing if you like what you see. And yes, as always guys, keep booming and I'll see you in the next one. Snuggles is out. Bye.